Thank you. And yes, I did lie awake that night thinking, surely that must have been... I can't, I can't really have broken a glass, so I will always be grateful for Helen for giving me that opportunity. <laughs> Try it, it's amazing. Um, <laughs> cool, yeah, so for something quite different. Um, yeah, my name's Cara C. I'm an electronic musician and a composer, and performer, producer of electronic music and a studio sound engineer. Um, Delighted to be part of Ada Lovelace Day, and um, I'm going to perform a condensed version of a piece that I've co composed for a project that I'm part of called Delia Derbyshire Day. And um, the piece is called Audient, My Dear, which is They Will Hear in Latin, and is my response to the fascinating Manchester based archive of the late great Delia Derbyshire. Like um, Ada, Delia was excelled in both technical and creative spheres, so she was also a real visionary and pioneer of her time most famous for her iconic realisation of the original Doctor Who theme in 1963. She was making electronic, she was also, the, um, the archive show, she was making electronic dance music for a kids' TV theme, of course, um, in, the, in 1970-71, ambient, industrial, synth pop, all these genres before they even existed, and way before we had the accessible technology that I, I have at my disposal, which is quite usefully shown in the next slide. Thank you by one of my students of a music technology course that I deliver in primary schools. <laughs> so you can see what she does use and how she doesn't make her music. <laughs> and um, like Delia, I like to use found sounds, um, non-musical objects that can then be processed and manipulated to make music. Um, the next slide will show Delia's favorite instrument, a green lampshade. And um, in honor of the spirit of Delia, I should be playing a ruler and a ping pong ball this evening.
your part so much, so much more than the sums, than the sums.
been a lot of kind of historical work on it, a lot of evidence which showed that this room probably wasn't true. And so we're expecting him to still lie within the remains of the Greyfriars site, if we can find it. <laughs> 